Hi, my name is Isabel, and I'm here on Access So You with Savannah here today. Thank you so much for coming and being able to talk a little bit on the podcast. Um, can you tell me what discipleship groups are? You're the t- discipleship groups intern, right? Mm-hmm, right. So, so can you tell me a little bit more about that? So discipleship groups is kind of like small groups that we have on campus, um, but they're different than like a small group you would have in a church because we know that that's already a resource for students. So discipleship groups is a place that is led by students, for students, um, where people can have accountability and talk about different places in their lives where they want to pursue the Lord more, more, but they don't necessarily know where to start, like how to get into the word or like places to serve. And so this is a place where you can talk about it in a safe place together. And so for sophomores through seniors, they meet in groups called huddles. And then for freshmen, they have their own group called belong. And then eventually that gets them into a huddle down the road. So it's community if you want it from freshman to senior year. Yeah. So what has your role looked like as the discipleship group intern? So this is actually our second year of discipleships like discipleship groups even being on the ground so my role is kind of like still being formed Mm -hmm. but right now I with the freshmen I'm there I'm teaching them I'm sending them off into their small groups and I get to have like more of that relationship with them and then for huddles I get to lead the leaders so I sit in on meetings with them and just like check in on how they're doing and make sure that they have all the resources that they need to run their group but for the most part they kind of take the lead on it I just make sure that I can like cheerlead them on wherever they need me to yeah so what's your favorite part about discipleship groups I think my favorite part would be the relationships aspect of it like it feels like in a lot of ways like there's stuff that I have to do behind a computer but a lot of ways my job is people Mm -hmm. and I love people so that's kind of like I love just like some of the um, expectations we have with the leaders is sitting down with them one-on-one just to hear how they're doing not necessarily how their group's doing but how they're doing like spiritually as well Mm -hmm. and I live for those conversations so My favorite part is the fact that it gets me connected to people. Yeah. Do you feel like discipleship groups maybe uh, is something that you can use the in further in your career? Like maybe after college, you can use the knowledge that you've had in discipleship groups. Because again, with the people, I feel called to ministry, so that's people, and I feel really blessed in this season of life where a lot of stuff is preparation. Like I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do with this calling that the Lord's placed in my life, Mm -hmm. but I know the passions and the gifts that he's put inside me, and he's given me an opportunity to live those out now Mm -hmm. in discipleship groups. And so, and you're right, like, I am learning so much that I know I'm going to take down the road, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, that's amazing, all the the work that you're able to do for discipleship groups. I know that everyone really appreciates and talks about how how you're able to be personal with people Mm -hmm. and have great conversations, and they really, really enjoy your personality in that way. So that's really amazing. Um, (laughs) What is some of the best advice that you've ever gotten in your life? Whoa, okay, just like life? Yeah. Um... Okay, my dad, he gives me a lot of good advice. And sometimes when I get really freaked out about um, things aren't happening at the speed I want them to, especially in places where I work, which is all, like we said, people-oriented, he said, Savannah, the Lord and life moves at the speed of relationship. So if it's slow, that's okay. And that almost can be a sign that you're doing it right. Like when you meet with someone like five times and they're still not like letting their walls down. Well, you know what? I did the same thing with the Lord and he waited for me. So just being okay with like the speed of relationship, that's taken a lot of pressure off my shoulders. And I think it's helped me love people better. Yeah, that's a really, really great advice Mm -hmm. to to take into everyday life. How Mm -hmm. have you seen God work through discipleship groups? I have seen, so because we're so new, Mm -hmm. we're not quite sure what, we're trying to fit needs. Yeah. And so a lot of our prayer is, okay, Lord, show us needs that people need and we'll fill the need. Just show us where, where we need to step in for people. And I've seen him place people in our path Mm -hmm. that need discipleship groups and a lot of them in different capacities, but he's shown me that he's not he's not going to let people on campus who are craving him Mm -hmm. not get him Mm -hmm. and so for in some ways it feels kind of 
just like it has to be it's like a god thing yeah. like there's no other way i would have interacted with this person except for that the lord in, crossed our paths yeah. to get them in discipleship groups which has filled a desire or a prayer that they prayed a couple weeks ago about community and then yeah. we just so happen to have a conversation like that sort of thing so that yeah. he doesn't let when people on this campus are praying like mm -hmm. lord i want to draw closer to you show me how he doesn't let those prayers go unanswered yes yeah. that is so good so where can students who are interested in discipleship groups mm -hmm. where can they find more information or even who could they email for mm -hmm. more information if they're interested in discipleship groups they could email me Savannah White um, there's all they can also if they're comfortable reaching out to tone as well um, there's the spiritual life Instagram page that could get them to all the links that they yeah. need to be at and every once in a while we have we actually just had one on Wednesday night um, a belong worship night. Yeah. Um, that's where people can just gather together to worship, no strings attached. Mm -hmm. But that's where all of our leaders gather too for yeah. people to have conversations. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's great. Thank you so much for coming here today and allowing me to talk with you a little bit about discipleship groups. I really appreciate you being here and, and everything that you've talked about. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> for Access So and You, this is Isabel Lugo and Savannah White.